Welcome to Best Buds Gardening. I'm Julie. Today, let's talk about how to grow mushrooms with a grow kit. If you've ever thought about growing your own mushrooms, but don't want to invest a lot of money into autoclaves and flow hoods, this is definitely the way to go. And it couldn't be easier. We'll take our kit and remove the window panel on the front. Then we'll cut an X in the back. We'll take a fork or a shish kebab stick and we'll make some little scratches in that white stuff that's called mycelium. We'll place it cut side down and soak it in water for 6 to 10 hours. Now let's just stop right there for a second. This is a shotgun fruiting chamber for mushrooms. Nothing you need for this project. It's a clear plastic tote with quarter inch holes drilled all over it. There are tiny holes drilled on the bottom because this gets filled with damp perlite and the perlite would fall through a quarter inch hole. I'm used to nothing falling out of the bottom of this thing so I kind of absentmindedly forgot there were holes on the bottom of it. So, to soak my grow kits, I grabbed my shotgun fruiting tote because it was handy. And like an idiot, I pour water into this. Now, you can see the darkening of the wet carpet under the tote begin to spread. I don't see this because I'm in the kitchen getting another container of water. I put two whole watering cans full of water in this thing before I realized I'm soaking my carpet. So, ideally, you'll want to soak these cut side down in something that does not have holes on the bottom. After the 6 to 10 hour soak, we'll take our bags out, dry them off, and reinsert them into the box with the cut side facing us. We'll mist our kits two to three times every day. We'll keep our kit someplace out of direct sunlight. Mushrooms don't like direct sunlight. They grow in the shade. Just set it someplace near, but not facing a window. Four days later, our pearl oyster mushrooms have started pinning or making baby mushrooms. Here they are in the bottom left of the kit only 12 hours later. 12 hours after that, and every 12 hours. They double in size every 24 hours. Our pink oyster mushrooms have started pinning too. If you'd like, you can set a tray of water right in front of your mushrooms. Mushrooms don't need to be watered, but they do like humidity. That's why we're misting them. So how do you know when they're ready to eat? The mushroom caps will start off curved. Three to five days after pinning, depending on the temperature and humidity, the caps will start to flatten out. That's when they're at their prime. We'll take them and gently twist them off. If some of the sawdust is stuck to the bottom, trim that part off before cooking them. And if some of the mushroom stems are left, pull that out. Now go ahead and mist your kit again. You should see some more pinning mushrooms in the next two weeks. You should get two or three crops of mushrooms out of this kit. Okay, I have to go now. Right about the time this photo was taken, the skillet is already heating up. I think pearl oyster mushrooms taste a lot like crab meat. I'm going to saute mine in some butter and Old Bay seasoning. The pink ones will be ready in about three more days and those taste like bacon. Thanks for watching. If you liked the video, you can buy me a coffee with the link in the description box.